welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is <clears throat> my day. And today is going to be like pretty much all my other days. And that is uh, trying to uh, fit everything in into one day. Uh, I've been up since about 4 o'clock because I am working nights and my normal routine my normal routine is um, sleep in the day work at night so when you are off which I am this weekend your body still wants to maintain that routine because that's what it's uh, beginning to get used to and next month it'll change so been doing that for a lot of years and um, you just have to keep pressing on with it and uh, have to get used to it as much as possible. But working nights, I've never been able to really get used to it because I'm a morning person. I get up early. So um, I'm up since 4. It's about 6 o'clock now. Um, uh, it's been raining outside, so I didn't, I didn't do my workout outside. I pretty much did something I can do inside and that was shoulders, uh, dumbbell presses, um, laterals, bent over rows, bent over laterals, uh, what have you. Um, got that did uh, early this morning. Now I have to um, get ready to go to the grocery store because again, my help is down. My help is down. And uh, so I got to go there and get that grocery thing out the way. And then uh, find out whatever whatever else it is that I need to do. But I think it's going to rain again. So, you know, uh, normally when it rains, it's always a good thing to have a gym. But a lot of times when I'm off I really don't like going to the gym and things like that I, because I feel like it's it's kind of taking up space you know so I do things in the house and still get your workout on it, it doesn't really matter where you are you can if you got a few weights you can get your workout on so that's just life that's just the way it is um, later on today I'll talk to you all about those uh, those weightlifting shoes that I bought a year ago and uh, my thoughts on the weightlifting shoes. So I'll talk about that later on. But I really got to get, um, I really got to get this grocery thing out the way. Now I'm trying to build up the motivation uh, to go to the store and, and do that. Cause I really don't want to do that either. Uh, it's, it, <laughs> Things that you're used to other people doing is, 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 you know, I just hate to change it because it's like I'm a, uh, I'm a creature of habit. You know, once I line things up a certain kind of way, you know, I hate for it to change. I like for things to stay the same. And when it doesn't stay the same, it kind of uh, caused me a little bit of uh, frustration. So that's something I've been working on all my life, trying to just get used to changes in life. You know what I mean? So. I got to build up that curve to go up into this grocery store and get that stuff out of the way. And um, later on in the day, like I said, I'll talk to you all about those uh, weightlifting shoes and what I think about them. And uh, we'll get that out of the way. Anyway, uh, this morning, breakfast. <clears throat> breakfast was uh, something truly light, very light. And that's this cup of coffee. That's pretty much all my breakfast for this morning is gonna be, at least until noon. And you ask yourself, why do this dude keep not eating? And the thing about it is, is that I personally am always trying to uh, maintain body weight. I'm always trying to go down in body weight. It took me several years to get up to uh, heavier weights, and I've I, I've uh, speed uh, dieted uh, my weight all the way down to like 230 uh, from 270 to 260, 
And over the winter time, I tend to uh, get bigger. I, sh I tend to go back up to 260, 270. And uh, as of this winter, I've been trying to uh, not uh, go back up and wait and try to uh, keep my weight down. Because as I get older, I tend to not want to have a whole lot of size anymore. I just just want to maintain a, a, a slim physique. That's my goal in life right now. I believe in exercise and I always would believe in that. Uh, that's something I've always have done. But right now, um, getting down to, right now I'm at 245. Um, I went up a little bit, but my ultimate goal is I try to lose weight slowly. That way your body can tighten up as you uh, downsize. Uh, but my ultimate goal is to get right around about 200 pounds and maintain 200 pounds. So that means I'll normally go below the 200 pounds. I go to probably about 195, 190. That way you have a, a buffer. Uh, how much time is going to take to get down to that weight? I could rapidly do it. I could rapidly do it within uh, a couple of months. You know, but that right there uh, put your body in a starvation mode and would cause you to gain the weight back. So that's one thing you really don't want to do, go up and down and weight like that. Uh, you, if you're trying to lose weight and you and you want to be uh, a certain size, then you have to uh, work on that. You have to uh, gradually lose the weight, uh, get your body accustomed to the new size, eating a certain weight, and uh, gradually your stomach will shrink, uh, your appetite will decrease. It's, 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 the, it's doing the opposite of the way you gain weight. You stuff yourself to gain weight, stretch your stomach out, you got more food in there, you got more calories, um, you kind of minimalize uh, cardio and stuff like that, and you, you will gain weight, you will get bigger. Uh, that's just the way it is, but that's no longer my desire to be uh, 250, 260. I, I, just, I just don't want the size anymore as I've become older. Uh, smaller is better now. So that's what I'm working on. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.